Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're replacing the bushings in our transfer case. Some of the day when it's really wet I can't actually get up the driveway in two wheel drive the back wheel just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. I actually need to put in four wheel drive and I've tried when I went to go put in four wheel drive the shifter went all sloppy and nobody likes sloppy sh sloppy knob pretty much. So when I was sloppy I was like oh my god I've either broken the transfer case itself which would be very expensive or it's going to be something simple. And if you guys have this pro problem either Try and help your driveway or out on the travel. Check this first, and if it's not this, then you've got a big issue. But if you've got this, this is a nice, ch cheap, simple fix. And the best thing about it is you can just go straight down to your Jeep dealership. I've got the part number right here. I'll leave a little photo down. Part number is uh, 68064273AB. So if you guys need that part number, I'll leave a little comment down below so you guys can just call up your dealership say that part number and hopefully they will have them in the stock so I thought I would get these off eBay but check your Jeep dealership first so you can just go straight down there and I don't know I bought some replacements of these there is one underneath the um, Jeep as well kind of in line with uh, where the transfer case is kind of like where your gear stick sits so check that one as well the first one I'll be checking is the one actually inside the car underneath your center console so all these are a little bushings I bought four of them for a dollar fifty each I know it's going to break the bank guys, but that's all it is, a little bushing, a little uh, plastic bushing that's broken inside um, like the transfer case linkage just on the outside, it's not internal or anything like that, it's super simple and easy. So I'll show you what the Jeep, um, I've taken the center console out, you might need to do that, um, if you can do it without taking the center console out, do that because it was actually kind of a pain in the ass. So inside the Jeep, you got the four guy, four drive gear stick there, you can see how it's all sloppy it should be engaging all it is is this little linkage just here and you can actually see if you zoom in all these little bits of plastic where is it focus focus there all it is is a rubber bushing that's sitting in there you can see that should be connected to there that's all it is super simple simple straightforward now let me know if you guys had this issue before as well um, I will go back and through clean all this uh, stuff up because I like a clean jeep. So that's the little bushing there Simple really stupid and so pretty sure you just pop it in the back of That one Like that should clip and then if we can Push it there. That's it God damn it. So something so simple and minor can get you stuck. Now we got four wheel drive again. Woohoo! So that's it. Just that little bushing just there has caused all those issues. So, really simple, straightforward, guys. I'd recommend buying a few extras if you can. Save you guys, save your mates out on the trail. It'd be the savior of the day if you've got that. But, really simple, straightforward. Send a console out, clean whatever's there, put the new bushing in, that's it. So get some extras if you can, really cheap, simple fix. But if you guys like this video and it helped you with your issue not having four wheel drive, smash that like button if you like this video anyway. Or if you just like me chatting a whole bunch of crap, like, like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. So we're still waiting on some stickers um, for the Jurassic Park theme. We've got some other stuff that I've just done and um, they'll be sharing in another video. So if you guys want to keep update with the Jurassic um, world, to the Jurassic Jeep build theme. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. We've got some awesome stuff coming up for you guys as well. A couple of adventures coming up as well. Go topless day. Also been he heading up the beach in a, about two weeks or so for my birthday. So keep an eye out for that one. If you guys like this video, smash the like button if you haven't. Smash that subscribe button as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.